Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today's vlog is a little bit sad, but a little bit not sad, I guess. Kind of in the middle. We're gonna be taking Puppy to the vet today. I'm looking for socks currently. Why do I have absolutely zero socks? <laughs> okay, I, I kind of found socks. We're gonna take Puppy to the vet because she's sick again. This is her third time being sick and I found a good vet. I'm gonna explain more in the car because I'm basically late already, so I have to go right now. Let's go, let's go. I'll explain the car. Puppy. Wake up, it's time for school. Come on, little man, it's time for school. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Let's give you some little snackies. Come on, dude, you can sleep in the car. Come here. You can have some first before we go. Oh, that's exciting. That's so exciting, isn't it? You and your little lump. You're so small. Alright, let's take you to go see the doctor. Ooh. Here you go, little man. Excuse me. I'm gonna take her water too. Why are people beeping? Puppy's eating a lot, which is good, I guess, because she's not too freaked out. Because I know Puppy absolutely hates being in the car. It's like the worst thing for her. So I feel really bad because we have to drive like upwards to an hour to get to this place. But basically, update on Puppy's health. If you guys didn't know, Puppy is my hamster. She's a winter white dwarf hamster who is having a lot of problems lately. She has some stress induced fur loss that I took her to the vet for a few months ago. They really weren't too helpful with that. Granted, I went to a vet that didn't specialize in hamsters. They gave me cat and dog prescriptions. That vet was not my favorite. Last time when she was sick, we thought it was like ringworm or a fungal infection or something. It wasn't any of it, which really sucked. But I think it was just stress induced with a slight infection. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but this is pretty unrelated to it. Puppy has a lump on the side of her face right now. And I don't know what's going. Oh, are we just going straight during this? red light because there's some construction that's very jarring okay so that has been puppy's health background basically but we're gonna be taking to the vet today i really had to hope to get this appointment because they are super booked right now so i was lucky with that i guess i was debating whether or not to take her to the vet because i think this might be a surgical event i don't, really don't want to put her through that but also um she seems to be not in too much pain though like she seems to be okay if you guys want to see her here she is right now she's running in circles having a lot of fun. And there's the form I need to fill out. The way she's licking the thing though. OMG. I'm currently almost there. This place is in kind of an obscure location. Puppy is not having fun. We've been driving for like an hour. I just filled out all of the paperwork. Hopefully this place is good and I'll recommend it to you guys. But if not, it is what it is. But I'm gonna see what we can do. Puppy did not sleep at all. I gave her um, some food before we left and in hindsight, maybe that wasn't the best idea because now she has a bunch of food in her cheeks that I don't know if the doctor will be very appreciative of. But oh, time for me to go. All right, everyone, so we have arrived. I'm about to call them. Puppy is very unhappy. She's not having a fun time, but I'm gonna show you the lump on the side of her face um, for anyone who might have a hamster with similar issues right now. Hello, baby. I'm gonna say goodbye to you before they take you. They're gonna take her from my car because of COVID. If you can see on the side right here, she has a lump. It's a bit unnoticeable, but you can see it right there. I'm so scared you're gonna fall, little man. Puppy is not as tamed as fish, so she's very skittish, but you can see right there. That's the lump. Very unhappy about it. So is she. So we're gonna put you back in and we're gonna go get the doctor. Someone will be out in just a minute. I need to get my mask on, right, little guy? Oh, she is so unhappy. She hates both the hammies hate car rides. Like an immense amount. Oh, I'll bring that right back to you. Thank you, there you go. There she goes. Oh my god, there's like birds squawking in there. They're gonna call me and we're gonna do like a consultation over the phone, I believe. So that's the, the plans. Hopefully they can get rid of the issue today, but I won't be surprised if they have to schedule another one to do like a biopsy or whatever. 
really hope it's not that complicated, but I think it is. But yeah, we're just gonna sit here and wait. I'm really tired. I had to wake up really early to get here this time. I'm honestly so scared that something's gonna happen to her, but I'm also kind of mentally prepared for that to be true because she is a small hammy and they don't get well after they get sick very often. Um, I'm actually really surprised how well she did with the last two times that she's gotten sick. Although this is much different than those two times. So <sighs> we're gonna see, we're gonna wait for the outcome and hope for the best. I'll let you guys know after the consultation. Okay, uh, my knee's up because I was taking pictures of myself. I just got a call from the doctor and I got great news. I mean, not great news. Great news as in like, they're gonna do something about it, which is great news to me because last vet I went to was, they basically didn't do anything and didn't even figure out the issue because I ended up figuring it out. But what they're gonna do, she told me is they're gonna put her under for like five minutes with general anesthesia, like really quickly for rodents because this place, so far great thing. So this place is called Pet Sake for Pet Sake in Decatur, Georgia. I believe this is Decatur, Decap, somewhere. Um, I'll put like info in the description if anyone's in the area and needs a vet wreck. So far I would wreck them, especially because they don't take cats and dogs. No shade to cats and dogs, but all vets when they are trained for cats and dogs, like they don't pay as much attention to hamsters, I feel like, especially because they're so small. So I really like this place because they only take rodents, like hamsters, bunnies, guinea pigs. They take birds. Not spawns, ah ha ha. They're going to lance it. So they're basically gonna take out whatever is inside of that lump. If it's solid, they're gonna make a slide and see if it's like cancer or, whatever else it could be. But yeah, good news so far. She's getting it done right now. I think she's gonna have antibiotics. She's gonna be on antibiotics after this. I think puppy's gonna be okay. And I'm just really thankful. Totally worth the drive. We're gonna see her after. And oh man, when I get home, I'm just gonna have to clean out her little peach thing to make sure she doesn't get infected. Cause that thing is really nasty. Honestly, that little peach she lives in, I don't clean it often because it freaks her out a lot when like her stuff gets moved around, which makes sense. So I don't bother her that much, but Mm, I'm gonna have to clean that when I get home and throw it in the washing machine. But I'm so glad they're doing something. I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Oh my God. So we'll be, I don't know when we'll be seeing her. It's currently 12.30. I actually don't know why my car is still on. I'm gonna turn it off, but yeah, we're just gonna vibe here and wait for her, I guess. They're gonna call me again once she's done. Um, I think they're just gonna bring her out to me. This is also really nice because uh, they're taking COVID precautions. So I just sit in my car and wait for them to do their thing and they call me, so. Love it so far. Very happy. Currently, we've been here for 40 minutes. I'm a little nervous. Okay, I just got the third and final call for her. She is all done. The total was $200. Um, cool. <laughs> it's okay. You know, I'll just post a few more videos this month. <laughs> they said they took her bedding out and everything because of like the surgery. She's gonna be on antibiotics for 10 to 14 days, which my parents will have to continue because I won't be here in like seven days. And she's also getting pain meds because you know, they sliced open her face. So yeah, I have to do a warm compress on her later tonight. I'm just gonna wait to get her back. I just paid for pet's sake. Seems like a really good vet area. I wouldn't normally recommend like a place that I go to. As a hamster owner, I know how hard it is to find vets. So if anyone in the area is looking for a really good hamster, rodent, bunny, guinea pig, whatever vet, they also do birds. I would recommend this place. This place looks pretty good. And you know, they, they actually did something, which I'm really appreciative of. We're just gonna wait to get her back now. And the Batril is 0.06 once a day. So she's had all that today. So the point, there's the five. So to the four, you go down to there. And to the six, you go up to there. Okay, okay. thank you we'll so much. We'll call you check up on her, but any questions or concerns, let us know. Okay, okay. thank you. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. Here she is. I'm not gonna touch her because my hands are dirty and I don't want to infect her little wound, but, but hello. Hi, baby, how are you? It's on the other side of her. Oh, there she is. Here she is, little baby. He's gonna be grooming for a while. But I'm glad she's looking better. I think I'm gonna have to take her food bowl out because she keeps standing on it and I don't want her to rub her, her face in it, so. 
We're gonna open her up really quick. No, baby. I'm just gonna take your bowl. But here she is. She's very unhappy. All right, I'm gonna have to close this. You can see on that side. She's bleeding. Oh, my baby. So here's little puppy once we got home. She's acting pretty normally, which is good. It doesn't seem like she's in a lot of pain or, you know, super drugged up, so that's good. This is her hospital cage. Unfortunately, it's really, really sad. I came back, disinfected every single thing in her cage and then put everything back. She's not gonna get bedding for a day or two because she Whoa. has an open wound, but you can see she's pretty energetic. Also probably very unhappy with the state of her cage. She's like, where's my peach? I want my peach, this is not my peach. And then she falls behind her house somehow, but she calms down after a while. Gave her some hamster safe popcorn, very fun. And she's just having a, a good time, I guess. I don't know how hard recovery is gonna be, so we're gonna find out together but she's just taking a little rest. Okay, so I'm currently sitting in the corner of my room. I don't know where she is, but this is the setup of her really sad cage. Um, it's only temporary, but we do need to have to make like a little hospital cage for her momentarily because she has like an open cut, like a gash like in her cheek. So I don't want anything going in it for the first few days while it's healing. I just turned her peach inside out. <laughs> I went and cleaned every single thing that's in her cage right now. I want to make it as clean as possible because I don't want anything to get infected although she is on antibiotics so she should be okay this is kind of hard to turn back right side out she loves this peach I think she's under one of the layers of paper towel that's in there shove this in there if anyone's wondering this is from Amazon and she she loves this thing she lives in this thing so we're gonna give it back to her oh are you under here oh are you under here. Oh, I scared you. I'm sorry. Do you want your peach? You want your little peach? Oh, you're ripping up the paper towel. I mean, go off. Puppy, what's this? What's this? What's that? <gasps> yeah, wow. Alrighty, so I'm gonna let her sleep. That's pretty much everything but thank you guys for watching for hanging out i will keep you guys updated on puppy's little situation she seems to be doing okay right now so we're gonna try to give her her meds tomorrow because she's all um drugged up for today so i'll see you guys in the next one and thank you all for watching stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you guys when i see you guys bye so to follow up on puppy this is one day after surgery i think she really missed her bedding so she started ripping up the paper towel but like really aggressively like why do she look like this a week later i gave her some bedding because her wound closed up so it was appropriate now and she does this thing where she shoves all of it in her mouth and then brings it to her peach where she basically doesn't leave ever she lives in that thing nowhere else i had to go back to school unfortunately so i left the hammies to my mom who actually did a great job feeding them and here's some super cute footage of it Happy. Do you like it?